Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play of Sparring in the Dragonfly. Today we're going to continue forth into the Dragon Realms. And we're going to unlock the next and the second of the gates. All right. There we go. So now we're going to continue on through... Get a feeling it's the last time you're gonna tell me something, Sparks. Uh, basically, this is the mountainous region of that, the Dragon Realms. The one before was like a farm, basically. Oh, we'll look at Atlas real quick. Sure, why not? 62% complete. And we will be finishing the Dragon Realms today. This will be the last uh, of the stuff in the Dragon Realms. Stuff. Hey, it's Fluffy! It's Fluffy, not Puppy. That's, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I make a joke about that because I named the level. Uh, oh, okay. That's a, that's a 25 gem or five? What the? F that's that's uh, yellow gems are 25 for some reason in this game. It should have said 25, but uh, there's only like two yellow gems in this entire game. Uh, they're usually worth 10, of course. I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. Going back to uh, the other games, uh, in PS1, uh, the dragon eggs, dragons and orbs and whatnot are all magical. If you can find enough of them to unlock uh, levels for you, apparently. Magic is real, indeed. Oh yeah, you'd think I'd remember that by now. Well, you'd think. Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. Or capture, because you're going to capture it in a bubble. And I didn't ask for your help, Sparks. <laughs> hey, it's Masa! Good is free for like five seconds, and then we're gonna capture it. It's like, yay, I'm free! Oh, shit. I'm captured. sand bridge of sorts. I don't know how that was made, but there's like sand on top. I guess that was just uh, like an arch or something, but it's kind of like uh, one in Sunny Beach in the Spire 2 or something. can't imagine the Ice Breath Challenge would go back this far. I Monkey Monastery is the next level we would have went to. Uh, instead, we went to the Honey Marsh because I love Honey Marsh more than that one. There you go, 25. Proof. 
Okay, that's the third yellow gym. Uh. Hey, it's Sandra. <clears throat> uh, shout out to Sandra Ducks. Uh, for some reason. Makes sense. We'll talk to the monkey when we go there. But now we're going to do the Ice Breath Challenge. Uh, the only reason I know uh, Sandra Ducks is because of uh, Dingo Crash and his Let's Plays. Or better known as uh, CBS 12 or Crash Bandy Spiral. Uh, okay. Through the, through the challenge portal, come on. Missed one anyway. <laughs> a waste of my time. Assuming there's not one on top there, but. Uh, Does torches count? And I missed one. Oh. Run, spiral. No, I'm not gonna get it, am I? Oh. Did that count? Fuck. There's eight. Uh, I believe each challenge is eight, then, so. so. Call that uh, 360 no scoped flame attack or something. Two, I believe I made a reference to uh, the, the Jumpstart Adventure Games. Uh, now you'll know what that's referencing if you didn't get it before, but uh, there's a voice actor that voices one of the little, little baby dragons. Okay, there's a thief over here. The elusive... Oh god, they're, they're, they're clothed fully. I guess these guys are good guys now. The, the red ones suck. It's all the treasure. Level complete. Come on, man. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Wanna, what the f***? What the hell? Oh my god, I'm stuck on the mat. <laughs> okay? Why, why, why are you doing this? I can't pause? Game. Ouch! Okay, I won't talk to him. I think we have enough dragonflies anyway, so he won't say anything different. <sighs> Get you piece of ass. You did it! Wow! You're even shiftier than me! That's enough magic to make this cover fly up and away! Hop aboard! Uh, going back to what I was talking about, uh, Han Howie Mandel was also in a series of educational video games. I won't tell you which ones, because that's a secret to everybody, and if you probably know it, you can connect and talk good times in the comments or something. But, uh, also voice. I think, what was the other one? Kathy Susie or... Conova, uh, something from the Rugrats series. She also voiced. Uh, it wasn't Tara Strong, I don't think. Uh, she, she voiced uh, one of the characters in Jumpstart. Uh, Great third job, grade. young dragon! That should be enough to get more balloon working. Hop aboard! Alrighty then, mate. Nauseous just thinking about Sparrow merging with the ship there. That was gruesome. That was a grotesque sight to see. Um, this, this is all glitchy. This is this. Cloud Nine is the glitchiest level in the game by far, though.
Those unbalanced Riptox have invaded our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Continuing the trend, uh, this guy is the same Crankle guy we talked to, but he has a different voice. He changed into a, uh, well, Spiral f Spiral quit it! You're pissing me off, man. Have enough? Okay. Is that everything you have to say? Those unbun- Okay. Uh, I know that voice also sounds familiar, but... It, uh... Freezing ca the dragonfly also capture it. Oh, we're non-violent, compassionate creatures, so we have these bubbles. Hey, it's foamy. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, purple gem. Uh, I could be wrong. Purple gems are pretty common too, though. Just, just uh, I don't think we see them much out in the open, though. Give us five. So. Uh, the only oddity is the yellow gems. It's about as odd as using the square button to flame and the circle button to charge. Oh wait. Ouch. Is that a fire fodder. Uh, so these monkey guys, I think they're also returning, uh... Oh, a, a, okay. Bouncing one. I guess I must have saw that. I thought that was a dragonfly. Uh, the monkeys return from Sparrow 3 from, uh, haunt, Haunted Tomb. Okay, I don't know what... I think there's a switch up there on that ledge. So did the bunnies, they've returned from Sparrow 3, uh, not from Haunted Tomb, but instead, uh, Midnight Ma uh, Midnight, no, not Midnight Mountain, uh, Midday Garden Home. That locked chest has a, uh, seashell on it for some reason. Uh, I would have put a snowflake on it or something, like a crystal snowflake or something straight out of Crystal Glacier or something. Tell me you're actually going to come on the ice. That would frighten me. That would frighten me so much. Oh. It didn't frighten me because your tail side was turned to me, so... What a familiar face. Just gotta kill this asshole. I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath?
So yeah, so, uh, back there was Bartholomew. Yeah, pronounce it properly. Yes. I didn't ruin that. Oh, those are dogs and whoops. Those are dogs and haunted tombs. Greetings, young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual snowball war. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. The word vice uh, uh, can mean uh, downfall, you know, sort of weakness, weakness basically. Uh, sort of thing. Yeah, I incorrectly uh, said those monkeys were from uh, Haunted Tomb. Can't hit the Yeti with a uh, rocket, apparently. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. You have decimated bits of uh, Yeti meat everywhere. Oh, I like the cold! But I don't like it that much. Eh, no. I could have smashed you with a rocket, then that would be smashing. But, uh, I, I I didn't. Well, I don't think you would like that very much, and I missed a freaking glacier. Do I need to say that that guy is also from uh, Sparrow Three? The uh, little. Elephant guy. Technically, he's a, a miniature mammoth, I think. This is the Ice Age. The guy said stuff about the. Uh, I don't think he'd say anything different. Too late. Wait, I can go back around, can't I? Turn around, spiral. Nope. Sit all flame you. Oh. You may be a young dragon, Spyro, but you have the spirit of an elder. Excuse me if I don't have much to say because this level is super calming. Super relaxing. That's a good change of pace because the rest of the levels are super frustrating. few levels that I don't remember hating at all really. <laughs> but I like it. Pretty beautiful looking actually, in my opinion. Hey, it's Holly. Mm-hmm. A lot of purple gems in this level. Maybe I just didn't realize. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm making a big deal out of it for, for no reason. Yeah, yeah, those Yeti guys are basically from Colossus as well. And the Sparrow 3 Yeti boxing minigames. Makes sense that these Yeti people, these uh, Riptox, are covered Ouch. not in the butt at all. I mean, aren't they going to be cold? You know, they need butt coverage. I to feel sorry for them.
<laughs> I meant to look at them. Okay. I think I can take care of that. I didn't miss any gems. What's frozen under the. Oh. Is that that? Like, uh. Part of the pillar, I think. Something, yeah. Looks like it. It's like the reflection of the pillar, maybe, too. While there are a lot of reused enemies, this level isn't really like anything else. I can't think of anything. Maybe Colossus, a little bit of Frozen Altars. Uh, but really, it's kind of unique. Uh, it's, it's your generic ice level, but it's not really... Oh. Uh, fourth Yellow Gym, there we go. Oh, that one's worth 10. What the heck? Okay, I guess they just ran out of time. They're like, okay, this level needs to have this many gems, so we'll just throw it have a 25 gem instead of 10. Um, I'd, I'd be interested to hear the story behind it. What the heck? There's some platforms over there. Come on, I mean, something out of croc. That's a loose connection. But it's, it's there. Okay. Oh, uh, Icy Peak, too. A little bit of Icy Peak. Uh, really, it's its own thing. Baby, uh... I thought they were harming anyone, but I'm pretty sure the, uh... Well... I know I missed one. Hey, it's Goku. I say anything different, I doubt it. Quit bothering me, son. I'm meditating. Hey, man, nice shot, Spyro. Those flying riptocks won't be bothering us again. I can't seem to figure out how to actually free the Yetis here. Okay, I'm gonna actually figure it out. Off screen. Oh, we can flame them. Never mind. Don't even have to use cannon. It's a good thing you came along when you did, Dragon. That would scatter them, remember? They would be Yeti meat and frozen Yeti meat. You want to melt them, not kill them. Killing them is a bad thing. They've, they've been. They're like lurkers from Jack 2. They're, they're nice. Oh, spoilers. They're uh, become civilized to a certain extent. 
and uh, enslaved as well. Yeah. Now we go down here. There's a lot more left to do, so uh, I'll just come back uh, in the next part of Spire and the Dragonfly, and we'll, we'll uh, finish off this level probably. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Dun, 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 dun.